Today, we're gonna to be talking about variable ND filters and why they're such a crucial part to any photographer or videographer's camera bag. Now, these are so helpful for controlling the light that's coming into your camera sensor, but also for nailing that perfect exposure, especially in bright conditions. So let's talk about what they do, why they're better than fixed ND filters, and also some budget options if you can't afford something that's in the 70, 80 to a couple hundred dollars range. So one of the main reasons why I love variable ND filters as a videographer is because it allows me to reduce the amount of light that's hitting my camera, overall giving me a better image, allowing me to keep a lower shutter speed, and giving me that dreamy cinematic motion blur that we're all looking for when it comes to videography. And as a photographer, if I'm taking portraits or photos outside, I'm still able to get that buttery, smooth bokeh without having to crank up to maybe a 2.5 or a 3 or 4. Because of the ND filter, I'm still able to be down at a 1.4, 1.8, which allows me to get that bokeh. Now, as someone who is a run and gun photographer and videographer, having a variable ND filter rather than a fixed ND filter allows me to just twist the front of my camera lens and I'm able to get the image that I want rather than having to dig through my camera and look for the right ND filter that fits the scene. Now let's talk about the three variable ND filters that I personally purchased and really enjoy using on a day-to-day -day basis. And they're all from this brand called K&F. The first one is the K&F Concept 67 True Color Variable Fader ND2 through 32 ND filter with CPL. Now this combines an ND filter and circular polarizer in one. So you're cutting down light while also managing reflections and enhancing color saturation. This is really good for landscape shots when you need both functions in one filter. Now the next one is the KNDF Concept 82 millimeter variable ND2 through ND400 ND lens filter. With an impressive range from one to nine stops, this is perfect for videographers who need versatility. The wide range means it can handle various lighting conditions, making it ideal for someone who is on the go like myself. And lastly, the last one is the KNDF Concept 67mm Variable ND3 through ND1000. This is a high definition filter with multi-layer coatings providing sharper image quality and protection against glare and scratches. So if you need a high density filter for extreme lighting conditions, then this is the one for you. Now, I know some of these KNF ones could be on the pricier range, so I know that newer and other different kind of manufacturers have some cheaper ND filters as well. So you can try those out, see how you like it, and if you like working with the very ND filter, then set aside money to invest in some of the more expensive ones because they're ultimately going to give you a better image, a better quality, and are going to be a lot sturdier than some of your less expensive ones. Now the difference between an ND filter and a CPL or a circular polarizer is that an ND filter reduces the amount of light hitting the sensor while a circular polarizer is going to reduce the glare that's coming from metals or water. Now this is something I love to use with my drone because when I have my drone up in the air I'm always getting reflections from buildings or water so having a CPL on there is really great but also knowing that there's a company out there that produces variable ND filters with a circular polarizer as well is something that I think almost every videographer use, needs to use if they're doing outdoor videography and even indoor stuff that has like a lot of reflections and glares like maybe automotive stuff. So to wrap up, why would you need a variable ND filter? Well, if you're like me and you do a lot of run and gun photography and videography, then having something that limits the amount of clutter that's in your bag is really gonna be a step up because you're just able to get the shot that you need, get in and get out. Another reason being image quality. As a videographer, one of the things I prize the most is image quality and having something that can produce a really good image for me, no matter if I'm outside in bright conditions, is something that I need almost at all times, especially living in Texas. Now, one of the most helpful reasons to have a variable ND filter or any type of filter on your lens is primarily to save it from scratching or cracking. So the fact that you have something in front of your lens protecting the glass is going to save your lens and make it last longer. So to me, that's just one of the major reasons why I love having filters on my lenses at all times. I hope these are helpful tips for looking for variable ND filters out on the internet. And if you like the ones that I recommended, I linked them down below. So go ahead and look for those. And until next time, catch you on the flip side. Peace out.